Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Strong Math. Today we will discuss about introduction to indefinite integral that is basic ideas and formulas related to indefinite integral. What is the meaning of integration? Integration is the process of finding antiderivative of any function. What is meaning of antiderivative? Antiderivative means reverse process of derivative. Integral calculus is motivated by the problem of defining and calculating the area of region bounded by the graph of the function. That is you will, you will get a graph of some functions and you will, you will get a bounded region. By the help of integral calculus you can calculate the area of the region bounded by this graph. The formula that gives the antiderivatives is called the indefinite integral of the function and such process of finding antiderivatives is known as integration. Basically integration means the reverse process of derivative that is reverse process of integration is also derivative. Now look at these three kinds of graphs you can easily find out the region bounded by the graphs for three cases by the help of integration you can easily find out the area between these graphs now for the beginners you have to know some notations related to integration let's introduce them in the first point integral of f with respect to x is denoted like this snake like symbol is known as integration symbol of integration we read this as integration of f of x dx next point fx is the integrand x is the variable of integration the process of finding the integral is called integration. Suppose capital Fx is the result after integrating the function small fx. Then we write integration f of x dx equals to capital F of x plus c. Here c is called integrating constant. You must write this integrating constant for indefinite integral for definite integral no need to write the arbitrary constant we'll discuss later what is definite integral next point if dy dx equals to fx then y equals to integration of f of x dx let's discuss some formulae related to integration in the right hand side of your screen you have the formula related to integration you have to remember that integration is the antiderivative of a function so look for the first formula if we differentiate x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 we get x to the power n so if we integrate this function that is x to the power n you can get x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c where c is the integrating constant differentiate x to the power n then the power will come first that is we have to multiply n into x to the power n minus 1 that is if we integrate x to the power n then the result will be x to the power n plus 1 and the constant term that is the power n plus 1 will be in the quotient for differentiation power decreases whereas the power of integration will increase in particular case if we differentiate x with respect to x then d dx of x becomes 1 if we integrate this one we will get x plus the integrating constant c similarly you can observe that derivative of sin x is cos x so integrating of integration of cos x will be sin x derivative of cos x becomes minus sin x 
so integration of sin x becomes minus cos x similarly for tan x differentiation of tan x is sec square x integration integration of sec square x becomes tan x derivative of minus cot x becomes cos x square x hence integration of cos x square x is minus cot x plus c now in this page similarly you can get the formula of sec x tan x as sec x cos x cot x as minus cos x now look at the formula number 8 derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by root over 1 minus x square so integration of 1 by root over 1 minus x square dx is sin inverse x plus c similarly for the formula 9 10 and 11 you can easily understand what is happening the formula number 14 15 and 16 represents the integration of e to the power x 1 by x and a to the power x derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x and integration of e to the power x is also e to the power x we know the derivative of log x is 1 upon x so integration of 1 upon x equals to log x and derivative of a to the power x log by log a is a to the power x so integration of a to the power x is a to the power x by log a now look at the algebra of integration addition or subtraction of any two functions gives us their separate integration for addition as well as subtraction now suppose k be any constant then integration of k into fx dx gives us k into integration of fx dx that is for any constant which is multiplied with the function that will come first of the integration for the fourth formula that is multiplication of two functions fx and gx its integration gives us a special rule which is known as bypass rule we will discuss in details in another video thanks for watching this video please like share and comment and obviously please do subscribe my channel strong math mention your query related to integration keep watching thank you